So yeah, yeah, hurdle. So <laughs> let's let's recap from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hate to do that to you, but that's okay. Go ahead. That's yeah. what I want. So, so when did you start? What year? Well, I started in 1970, 71. At 20th Street School, I was in the little boy watching Soul Train in the 70s, and um, uh, I didn't have the group as until, until I got a little older, three, four, or five years old. That's so hard. And uh, two fellas that I always so remind was the Bow Hunter. And Derek Williams, we finally formed a group called the LA Lockers, little small guys. Yes. We was in the drill team for four or five years straight. And uh, we decided to talk and we said, well, since you're the president, what you want us to do? I mean, the Bo, uh, no, I mean, Derek, the uh, financial president of the group. We paid 50 cents at that time. This is elementary school, right? Element this is in elementary. Yeah, yeah. And um, as we begin to talk, so Derek says, uh, we need to start paying bills from a quarter to 50 cents. That's all we can afford. Candy money, candy money, bottle, whatever we did. Because we, we wanted little outfits and stuff. So. Hats like that, we used to lock in. Knickerbockers, black and white socks, everything. They were bigger than that at the time. All stars, we danced and all that. Make a long story short. So we got into the drum business, and drumming, and that's what we said. We could drum, then we had more people came and took our spot and started dancing. And we was in the uh, Easter Parade, um, Compton Parade, Watch Parade. Every parade you can think of by Los Angeles all the way to Torrance, we was in. So as we kept going on between 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, we got a little older and we got more vets in the locking skills. and. Robot, that was the only robot beside me and Derek. We're both robots and lockers, besides the boat hunter. That boy could lock his butt off. Mm -hmm. So after that, <laughs> we all went on to Carver Junior High School in the end of 77, taking a tour and getting looking, getting ready for the school year. 78 came. Uh, I met Al, was the first guy I met, besides Derek is still in the group and the boat. So what we did, all five of us got together and joined the, joined the uh, band as dancers. And uh, I remember we did some talent show. We lit that thing up. This is like 78. This 78. We just got in school. We're seventh graders. We're a little taller now. So we working on them. Then we met Nathan and Nick Daniel. Him and his brother had a group. Then uh, we met Boogaloo Beasley from Compton. He had his own thing. We had a guy named Preach. He lived off in the full trade name. He was 42nd Avenue. Had a lean man. Like animation was, yeah. that boy had a lean farther than animation. He was triple joint. Animation only went double, but he came back and blessed him, rest in peace. And um, he preached, would show me, preach had a cold creek. The way he did, he would twist his feet and he'd walk away in some kind of way. But he was cold, he was cold. And we had class together. But back to the group, when officially those five got together plus myself, we would battle anybody. We didn't care. All five of us, we stuck together. So, Derek moved to Compton and Compress. The Bo moved to Pomona and some junior high, and I stayed at Compton. So, me, Al, and Kevin, I knew Al, but everybody talking about me and Kevin Gaston, that's his name. Oh, he gonna beat me, he gonna do that. I said, okay, bring it on. And I'll never forget, behind Carver, it was raining, so we got down in maybe a six foot square by the door, you know, by a gym. And we began to get down, and Robot, I ate him alive. Spit him out, he was mad. What about locking? So we got out, this brother said, boom, and jumped straight up in the air, pancaked all the way down. I couldn't do that. That's the only way he got me. So he won, and we said, so we got together and we formed a group called the Fantastic Three. And we knew the New York Dominoes, uh, Diesel, Dwayne, Fantasy, we knew all the ones. And Inch High, Marcella, Bob Cream, uh, look, look, uh, uh, what's his name? Coco and the other one. Uh, he died. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Lil Tough? Yeah, yeah, yeah Lil Tough. tough from the, uh, so, yeah, the you know, Domino. I knew all of them. But yeah, me and Chow, we was very close yeah. because we would just play around, have fun. Yeah. So doing cover all the three years, we all had fun. We enjoyed each other. So after everybody dispersed, uh, after junior high, graduated in 80 from Carver, Carver Knight, i never forget that. Uh, we went to Jeff. Okay, so and uh, we kept the group together, but we weren't locking now. We took 
the robot into pantomime and then the locking ceased because popping was coming in with the bottom so stab that him, I do. So give him that uh that 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 time frame, big big hurdle. Between elementary <laughs> to 78, all the way to 79, 80, no, I'm sorry. Between 78 and 79, we started conversing and transforming over to, to pop. Yeah. And then we took that and ran with it. We can still roll by lock, but we didn't think we needed to lock it because the lock, locking was starting to fade down. But it wasn't fading down because Dr. Camelot then was doing it over in China. He started teaching them and, and it just kept going. But it hid for so many years that people just started back bringing it back out. And I never forget, I had a friend of mine named Jerry Cooper. That boy could lock his butt off. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry was Jerry. a locker too. Yeah. He could roll by too. He'd do the same thing. We was like brothers. We never went against each other. Yeah. We never came against each other, never talked about it. We just helped each other with different styles. Know. So when it got to me, everybody was hurdle, hurdle. Y'all know hurdle, tough so so. I stay humble. I never thought I was bad because somebody can always beat you. And I learned that. Keep God in front, stay forward, stay focused. So time went on, yeah. 80s, we, we, everybody went to jail that I knew of. We went on to jail. Hold on. Um, rewind and tell them, like, when did you get into the, um, give them the time frame of when you started to learn, you know, the bopping trial, you know, the, the bopping style. The bo bopping style came more to me the uh, beginning of 79. I was already bopping in 78. But the bopping trial style got effective in me around 79 and 80 before I went to jail. <laughs> but after that, during the time of Carver, I met a man named uh, uh, Robot Prince. And uh, he met me, uh, Al introduced me to him, he said, Herder, and I'll never forget, he had a cut off shirt, he had a mole right here, which he still got now. I'll be going over his house sometime, but he's so busy. He had an afro with a black pick in his head, a white rag, consider you as a dancer, with some brown cactus, and he had some brown cactus, I think, uh, purple sector tennis was one of them. And uh, he said, show me what you got. So I did the same. So he said, you know what, Herman? I'm going to take you under my way and train. And that had took me up straight to the top. I was already deep in my robot. I didn't need that. I just conversed from here to here. That's all. It was just a change. Of, that's all. Were you missing each kind of show how to step right there? Yeah. And that's how it happened. But so before you were more slides? Like no, I, no, no, no. I was mostly a robot. I was mostly robotic. You know, like that. But I never, I slid, but I didn't slide like she was on you. I would walk. I would walk. Well, you ever seen uh, Robocop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. That's a robotic robot kind of stuff. <laughs> so after I did that, I started putting it together. And as Robot Wild, we call Robot Wild at the time, but we call Robot Chris. That's the king of Bob. He's like the grandfather of all the pop. He started that. And as he started showing me and started doing this and when the painting, I picked it up. And what I did, I took his stuff and put, and put a twist on my head. And that's why I do the bomber truck. That's why I come out. You ever seen a cartoon years ago in 86 called Voltron? Go watch it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Called Voltron. They would put like Thundercats together. And they would connect stuff like dots and T's. And I would come out. And that's the way it was. So that's how I learned the bomber truck. And ever since then, I put stuff together. And when you see uh, stuff in mannequins and stores, that's how you get poses. Dime stops, you just freeze and just stop. So that's how I learned. So that Bopatron. So you got, we got to look at it like this, though. When, like, when I got introduced to Deuce, like, Bop is the hit, you know? Yeah, it's the but hit. But it's the just, hit. like I say, that's that's basically what everybody, I guess, is doing now in this in the dance world. Yeah. Is Dre, you know, talk, he's influenced a lot of people. So they never seen other dudes with their own variations of styles of Bop. Like, can you tell them what bop is? Bop is a form, not just a, a chest of a hit. It's the form of the quality of the hit. See what I'm saying? It's not how deep or how hard you hit. It ain't about that. It's just the movement of, of the hit. I could take a move and do it all day long, come back, boom. See what I'm saying? See, it ain't how hard. And that's what Jerry Cooper gave me, helped me. He yeah. said, Stella's hitting hard. Hit light. 
Now I put just a little light to it. And that's why, this is my student, that's why I told him since 2014, don't worry about how hard you hit. Just let the, the just flow, just like Kung Fu. Just, yeah. you know, just let it flow. You yeah, know what I'm saying? When I got, I told him when he saw me in Venice Beach, you know. That was 2014, because I've been on Goma. Right, because that was right after the dude's pass, and then I'm out there getting off, and then Turtle came out up on me, and he, and he built something. He went, you went, ding, 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 ding. you know, you built something up on me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. This, this, I'm so okay. He came out, he went, you know, and ding, 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 ding. You know what I mean? And yeah, right, right. You know what I right, mean? Right, boom, right, he right. walked up and creep, creep. Yeah. So I was like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? So you know then, I was about to try and then, because Deuce yeah. had already yeah. told him yeah. you that told you're going to meet somebody yeah. else in that same caliber. Yeah. And we've been hooking up. I've been teaching him since 2014. And he have expanded. <laughs> and it took him the yeah. first two or three years. I was going. I he was, couldn't get it. Nah, I was all. pissed off. He, he was mad, frustrated. Yeah. Frustrated. Crazy. Crazy. Acting, and to get that boogaloo stuff going. I said, man, yeah. come on. Let's change Yeah. This I was just trying to cool I was, down I was just trying to yeah. be more common. You were yeah. animating. Uh, I say, you got 4D, 3D, and animation, but you ain't got no, no behind to relax on. Yeah. You know how Legos is? No, that's no, no. You want to. <laughs> See? That's all, that's all. You know? But you have to understand. We, gotta, we can't give them all the Can't give you everything. <laughs> but what you have to understand is that in this kind of style that I do, you see later. I'm going to get out later. And like it's really it's like, it's very like, common. Like tell them, tell them it's, very common, so it's, it's very common. It's very common that like anybody can pick it up unless they really have an eye to really, yeah, really yeah, see like, what's really going on. Like, yeah, yeah. And it's not easy like, to I get. It takes that time. That now, like, once you get what I got and all of the last score, like I told Gizmo, it's called storytelling. It's not easy. It takes years. Yeah. You may get it in five. You may get it in six. You might get it in a year. I can get it in a year. I got it within ten years. But it was hard work. I practice. Practice make perfect. And I would look at myself in the mirror. Look at the reruns. What I do. I would look at different things on TV. I can't say. But it helped. And I thank God for the gift. So, were you were you working? You had the technique first, and then you started to build the stories, or did you have stories that were maybe more basic in the beginning? And yeah, then you basic. Started to refine then it? I start to prune it, find it, clean it up, and then I would watch the Gong Show. Matter of fact, I did. I just did an audition back in '86 about the Gong Show. A guy named Ivan J. We used to dance against each other on 48th and Booper, and we formed the group. So I didn't want to get some of everybody. Uh, I'm not saying but, again, I say it on camera to anybody, I'm not the best guy yeah, in the world, I don't know but I hold my own. Like, and I, I don't talk. I, I let the dancer talk to me. And that's why I tell people, you don't have to say nothing, prove nothing, be better than anybody, just be who you are. Let people talk to you. Let them say what you want, what you like. And eventually, the truth going to come out. My father used to say, it takes a liar to tell another lie, another lie, another lie, but after that, it ain't the same lie. You got to clean that lie to clean that lie to get it right. Oh, and I'm a preacher by trade also. I'm a pastor. So, tell them about how, uh, so uh, we just have to be grateful that God gave us the gift of dance. So, it ain't about me. It's about God himself. The Lord Jesus Christ, and that's yep. all I talk Lord about. Jesus I was in the world. Man, I did things in the world. I did stuff right now I still regret, but I can't change it. I go from this point and just go on and let God be God. And I thank God for it. Pearl, tell them about Deuce Dre. I mean, y'all, but Deuce Dre and Prince in that group. At the time, when I was at Carver, Dre, uh, Deuce, and uh, Robot Prince, they formed the group. Uh, Lions, I call them Lions. This is, this is where you get the Bapatron. This is how you got that back, because all three of them was doing the same thing. Do some anime, that's what he got. Yeah. That's really his mentor before I came back. I'm just the second part of it. Deuce, Deuce had a style, man. Gizmo did, man, he, it blew your mind. It's like, man, what is he doing? Is he unreal? To the earth, man. I'm like, you look like you're looking at Jurassic Park. Yeah. Uh, Dre had his own style. I love him. Have no nothing against the brother. All he respect. To to he had his own style. And y'all don't see what he can do. That's it. Uh, but Prince, it's just something about Prince that uh, that style I got from him. It's effective. It's clear. It's clean. It's it's a style that hard for people. People want it now. 
But you, it takes time to get there. It just don't come overnight. They, I want it. I want it. No. People that ask me, no names have, hey, Herbert, how did you get when I tell them how they get They don't want to put the work in. You got to put the work in to get that done, man. If you, I used to run track in high school back in 80, 81, 83 at Jefferson High School. Over the Democrats. I was a hurdle. My teacher, Mr. Chappelle, if you don't work at it, you can't get it. So you got to work at it. It just don't come overnight. Some people get it in a year, some get it in five years, some get it in ten. But that ain't mean you ain't going to get it. It just takes time to get it. But everybody want to be famous. Everybody want to high mind. They want to try to think they're better. And all these pop blocks, I'm telling all the OGs. Y'all need to chill, man. Now, this is one-on-one. Y'all know me. I don't play. All the OGs need to stop talking about everybody. You say we love you. Y'all y'all come, y'all, you know, it need to stop, man. It's time to stop and think about it. We're better than nobody. It's time to love people. I'm promoting love. Restoration. Restore. The Bible says if you have an order against your brother, go to him and him alone, but take a witness. If you got a problem, come talk to him with it. Don't argue, don't cuss, don't go off. Talk to the brother and see what the problem is. We can get to the root of it. I'm not going to battle nobody and you keep doing it. I'll walk away. I ain't got time to argue with you. Life is short and death is short. So we don't know. We may, I, You may need me by tomorrow. I may need you now. So I'm not going to talk. I may need your help. There's so much wisdom in that, Lil. <laughs> that, that last minute of speaking right there, holy he got me in, He got me into the Lord Jesus Christ. It was him oh, because yeah, man. I was going through so much, so much stuff, a lot of anger. Oh, he didn't passion. want to hear me. No, I didn't want to hear him. I was hard headed. So, you know, like I say, I told the Lord, sick him, Jesus. He had to really, like he had to really, ball. Holy Ghost get going, it. going through the, all the training with, with him. And yeah, he wanted to night. give up. He really wanted yeah, to give up. It was the first three years. It was rough. It was he rough. cried. Yeah. Man, how long did it take? I said, yeah, it, takes it was time. rough. I was like, it takes time. You get it, but it takes yeah. time. It was really rough. You I can't get like, this wow. dance overnight, yeah. man. This thing took me over 10 years. Yeah. Yep. And I've been dancing since 1971, 72. Man. From locking the robot and, and then now pop locking. Yeah. Oh, man, come on. With the bop style. Yeah. It's not easy, man. I tell no guy, you can't get this overnight. Everybody want to be on American Idol and all that. I come in, all the guys want to be on. The, go ahead. But we know we created this back over in the hood. You can't take the hood out of the, out of the person, or the person out of the hood. Wherever you go, them, it's still gonna be the same thing. Hey, Earl, give them, give them some, um, give them some prominent, you know, people like Gaggy and T Tiger. Give them some history about but others. T, T Tiger was a guy that um, that was cool, man. He was a cool brother. Light skinned and freckled, red hair, uh, skinny guy, about a little bit, not your height, but a little in between you and Gizmo, you about five eight five nine. And the brother can twist or flex his butt off 3D. He can he can tick, he can wave. Man, that boy had a style, man, that would blow your mind. He would do some something like this and go and then float and then ooh, and then man, that boy T Tiger was no joke, man. Him, now me and him was close, man. We just like brothers, man. He said, Hurry, you never disrespect, you never came against me. You a cool brother. I try to be nice to him. But, that's not a but it's just too many jealous folks of people's gifts, people's styles. It ain't about the style. I keep telling people, stop worrying about style. Give me the quality of the movie. Where you gonna put it? Where is it gonna reach? When is it gonna come back? You see what I'm saying? You got to give the quality of the movie to see where it's going. To perfect your style, the perfection has to be in you first. You can't have nothing if you ain't yeah, put nothing is, into yeah, this it. Is, this is my mentor, homie. This is where I get all this shit so from. Come to Him. Me with that question, like, how do I find uniqueness? How do I find my own thing? You gotta have that foundation first. Well, the foundation has to come down within. Moses went to the Mount Sinai to talk to God face to face, but if he didn't have no root to get out the devil's camp to yeah. come into the root of God, he couldn't go up there to talk to God face to face. So. It's like you gotta have the tools to art. Everybody's unique, right? Everybody's yes, yeah, in their own way. You just gotta have the tools to express that uniqueness, right? Right. right. So that's that's what you're saying with, with that it takes time. Yeah. It takes time. See, I, lot, I see a lot of new schools like y'all do a lot of leg moves. We never did a lot of leg moves. That's, that's not me, that's you. It's like a glove of a baseball guy. You fit it, put it on there, and once it gets comfortable, it gets old after a while, right? So you change over to get a new one. Baseball club, right? 
put a little grease on it to break it in, yeah. that's how your pop locking is. You have to let it fit you. Don't force it, let it just come easy. And then for you know, that glove will fit on it for you know, it'll fit and when it got locked in, oh yeah, it's time. Ooh, yeah, boom. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way it is with dance. You develop your own technique, your own style. I'm not saying you ain't gonna pick up something. Because everybody will pick up and did this. Come on. All y'all OGs done did that. I'm telling you to your face. All y'all done picked up somebody and bit somebody moves. I did it, everybody done did it. I just keep it real one. Yeah. Now y'all ain't gonna like me when I finna say this. Anybody wanna get out, I'm right here. Anybody wanna get out for hundred dollars, we can get out for some money. Y'all can have Papa Ladder, we can get out for money. So whatever y'all want to do, bring it on. Straight up, I ain't scared, I ain't scared, I ain't scared. I'm back, Hurdle is back. So, so we got to understand is that in the popping field, OGs will have to just chill out, get their mind together, come to their self. I'm no better than y'all, I ain't trying to be no better. I'm just telling the truth the way it is. There's too much talking about people trying to be better than anybody. I could call seven people right now. They never came against me. Never. And I still love them today. Spider. Yeah. What do you feel like is uh, the most powerful aspect of, of doing this dance like throughout your life? Uh, what's the impact? The most powerful thing and influence that it was in my life to see the kids, man. 11 and 12, 11. They'd be like, oh, I want to do that. Oh, how you do that? And I show them a little something with the hand I play with them. And it, it's about the kids, man. That's what the street shows always It's about the too. kids. You ever seen about the street show, The Mob, no. when they dance? You ever seen that show? No. Man, they getting down, man. Like downtown's calling them out. They doing a lot of hip hop, break dancing, and crumping. Uh -huh. Man, they got a hundred guys doing that movie, man. man. You need to see that movie yeah. called The Mob. They get down, man. Yeah, that's crazy. yeah, yeah, they get down. You need to watch it. It's a good movie. It's good. You know, I, I done seen a lot of good pop lockers. I'm not mad. I'm glad you're on TV. Uh, tell them about uh, uh, Gaggy. Gaggy was the kind of sister. Her, Gaggy and Tangerine, man, they was one of the baddest groups in the nation in, in L.A. That were where folks out dance just like us. But they were girls. So it's Tangerine and who's the other one? Gaggy. Gaggy. They was they call it Trish though. They were they were a group of two women yeah. to come out with their style. Women just light people up, man. So um who taught Tangerine? Uh, uh Rob, Robot Rob. Now Prince. tell them who 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 who's who, who, who Robot Rob? Robot Rob was Prince Rob that one that be a bopping uh that Robot is Robot Prince. It's Robot Prince. <laughs> That's what we call Bob and Rob. But we cut but his name Robot Prince. He's the godfather of dancing in that. He started that. And then when he went up to the Bay Area, he showed them what's up. Yes, they thought it pop locking, but he just put a twist to it and that was it. Him and Boo met each other when they was at E got to talk different places. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? World on well, where World on Wheels, he wasn't there, but he was at different other places. You know what I'm saying? Disco train. That's where he was at too. Now tell him who uh, Boo is. Boo is a guy that came from Oakland. No, well, he's from Richmond. Yeah, Richmond. Yeah. But he came from Oakland. And he had family, and that's how he did. So he took his style, came that him and him and then went against each other twice. Yeah. He beat him the first time, and uh, Prince Rob, Robot Rob, came back. Robot Prince. Let me clarify. Robot Prince, that's what I'm talking about. Beat him the second time. And then they came good friends, yeah. and he just put the twist what what Boo did, and that was it. What was Boo's style? Boo was... So he didn't bob, he just he just had his, you know, he would do something like that, but in a little different. And he was into routines. Man. That's what was his thing. He was into routines. Yeah. And that's how he came with him. So he was clean with his angle. Man, the boy was no joke. They, they had a time. cold routine where they would come out the casket. Cut the casket. They were called the Fantastic Four. Yeah, was, and they would, was, was, like little, ghosts, they would be Gilbert. like little yeah. They would be like little aliens. Yeah. Coming out. Yeah, at the casket. Boom. Yeah, they were no Boom. Boom! Yeah. Boom! Yeah. And it blew people's mind, yeah. man. They still talk about that today, and I give them credit. Prince, to be clarified, to be clarified, Prince said that he always told me. I said, he who, did. Taught, who taught you that hit? He did the bop. He said, Boom Boo taught him, did. taught him the bop. Taught him the bop, and he now, twisted and pushed because the Because Boom used to hit with his head and neck. Like yes, he did. That's what he did. That's what he did. Come you know, down. Boom. 
Boom. So he Boom. just yeah. So like Rob that. took oh, the yeah. twist. Yeah. 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 So he took that and twisted it. Twisted it. And put his flavor on. Yeah. And that's, that's how they got together being. Because Prince would be like, Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? That's how he do. He's doing it with the yeah. yeah. He just like Yeah, that's you how he do. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, the, yeah, wow. I'm yeah. the only one that he don't say, but I'm the only one that's really close to what he did. And it blows his mind. Never be my mentor, never will. Because I love him, that's that much. I respect him to the highest. We can go and be going with each other 30, 30 days, and I still see him somewhere. No, this Heard him show me something hot. Boom, I'll just do this something. We have fun, man. We just have fun. Yeah. yeah. So, that, so who came down and Robot Prince, so they kind of interacted in a particular mm -hmm. way. At that time in the 70s, yeah. yeah because the late Boo, 70s. Who said that when he met, who came up here in 1975. Yeah. So he was That's already correct. doing, so when he met Prince, he was doing, you know, his stuff. That's right, that's you know, right. But, but Boo called it the L.A. Robot. That's right, that's Pan, right. Pantomiming. Yeah, that's what he said that He said that it was like not a, really a hit. Right. So when he battled um, uh, uh, um, Robot Prince, Robot Prince, Robot Rob, he said that he had he had that hit. Yes, he did. So he kind of got he put over. that play. Yeah, he did. He got the first one, and then the second, second one. Yeah, Prince, Prince did what he did. That thing, and then, then, then that's changed when he took it all the way up. Yeah, and ever since then, that was the form. That was the beginning of of, what of, he did. of the called the bop. The bop. Prince is the granddaddy of, of what of what we do. That's all. Deuce told me himself, bro. He's the granddaddy of what yes, we do was. down here, homie. That's a yeah. fact. It's like father. Son, grandson. Yeah, bro. Prince is, Prince is the archive. He's the, he's he's the, the main he's the, man. He's the showgun. And I will always give respect. Wow. He's, he's got some new stuff. I can't say it. But he got some new stuff coming down. I had to get clearance. I had to get clearance from him to, right. to learn how to dance and get this style. I had to go through yeah. trials and tribulations. I just couldn't learn the style. Just give it to him that no, he had, had to, to go it. through protocol. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. Everything you go through is through protocol. So, well, so Robot Prince kind of developed the style in, in a response to what Boo was doing with his hit. And then he came back with the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. See, that's what battles are for. That's that's what the exchange. See, when I was battling for money, we didn't make that much. We made maybe twenty five dollars. Uh, I went to a contest back in eighty something. During the time the return of the Gong Show was coming back in eighty six, it was six to eight months later before that came. I went on Vermont and Manchester. There was a school called <coughs> Excuse me, called St. Michael's. Right next to that, the auditorium gym was right there. So I went with a guy named Quick. He was a break dancer, a good friend of mine named Maurice. He stayed over there for Avalon 42nd. And uh, he said, Hurdle, this is a contest. I said, Where? He said, oh, Over there off of Vermont, Manchester, St. Michael's uh, High School. It's an all girl school. And so I went on in there and did wash, wash my hand, wash my face. And I said, Nah, which I said, What you think, Maurice? He didn't help me by I said, Okay. So, People don't really know that. They know me by his OG Hurdle. They don't know me by his Dr. McCann. That's really yes. my dancing name. Oh, yeah, sure. Dr. Yeah, McCann. Dr. McCann. Dr. McCann. Yeah. 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 Everybody knows about that name, but I don't use it. They just know me as Hurdle. You gotta stand it. You know, like I say again, I don't want to even put, put off a mm -hmm. big homie. That's all right. It's just that Deuce, Dre, and all these guys were family, bro. There was no division. And I tried to explain this to other young dancers that want to learn this bopping stuff. I'm like, they was we were all like connected. They were all like family, bro. They were they we went were to like they were all like together. There was yeah. no division. So we had a guy named Yama, same way. Yeah, bro. Cold. There's so many Ooh. other guys that that was doing the bop. And yeah. They was they was the bop is how you move, how you move. Everybody hits different. Yeah. So everybody was doing their own formations of their hit. So you know, I might like I say, I don't bop like Hurdle. It's kind of like he taught me, but I bop different from him, or I hit different. He so, just got his own twist. Yeah, yeah that's how because you know, I, you know, and then Deuce was trying to show me. Deuce had a style called double bops and yes, triple, did. triple bops. Yes, he did. So he would be like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I was like, it was so hard. I was like, nah, I can't do that, Deuce. And he had a, he had a, he had a, he had a double bop, triple bop, and he had a four, a four count bop or something. That's so he would, he would just be like, pow, pow, pow. I mean, he was like, man, he could hit his ass off, bro. But that's what I'm saying, he has styles of bop that Scared nobody ever seen before. That boy was an animator, yeah, yeah. man. You know, he has styles animated. of bop that nobody's seen before. So I just hate to see that. I told D. So, I said, man, I wish I had a camera, man, back then, because just to hear him talk about his styles of bop and see him. He told me, look, man, 
He said, if you're going to bop, this is in his living room, Big, big Hurdle. He's like, I want to, if you bop, I want to hear the, the ground vibrate and shake. That's how he used to bop. He'd be like, Gizmo, if you're going to bop, I want to hear the, I want to hear the floor like shake. Yeah. That's how he used, that's how hard he used to hit. He would be like, boom, and you could hear the floor shake, homie. But and see, that was just like, wow. But when you got yeah. Ro uh, 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 <laughs> Robot Prince and Deuce and Dre, they, that, when they, I told him a couple of weeks ago, no, months ago, when he was at the Papa's picnic, just fast. Yeah. They, that would never be duplicated. Ever, no. Uh, not them three. No. Ain't nobody was colder than back in the day. And I gave them all of them respect. It was some plenty of love, Dre, plenty of love. Yeah. And yeah. Robot yeah. Prince, plenty of love. Like, what was it like when y'all pulled up to some party? Man, people be, it's like a fight. I mean, what's up? People be looking at you know, what's up? The music come on, let's jam, or uh, 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 craft work, or uh, clear, push the button. I can dance on all of it. But my thing was that. My thing was more bounce to the house. Man, when I heard that, everybody say, Hurdle, you know what Hurdle? Man, look out, we finna get down. Everybody just part the rest and get out. Because guys just trying to be everywhere I go, from junior high to elementary to high school. Somebody in, in the 20 neighborhood from the 30s up to central, 40s, 50s, 60s. My name was re even reaching in, in Compton, man. And I didn't even know. Yeah. People knew me. I didn't even know them. They said, ain't you heard it from Cobb? I said, yeah, man, your name been ringing for years. Ingle with my name been ranking. So I had faded off the scene after 89. I just felt like I did it so much, I just got tired, I got burnt out. And I, I, I stopped for 20 years. Then when I met him, 2014, yeah. I took him under my wing yeah. and taught him what I know, but in his own way. Yeah. See, people gotta stop giving people credit that they taught somebody, but if you gonna teach somebody, that's anybody, if you gonna teach somebody, you hang in there with them till you think they finish. Yeah. They'll know when they finish, and they'll say, well, I'm through now. They'll walk away. You just don't keep hounding them and say that you taught them a move, anybody. And, oh, that's my, I taught him. How, how'd you teach it? You got to spend teaching time man, to teach, folks. I'm talking about hours and it took me hours to, with man, him. Man, I used to cuss this man out, man. You understand he cussed how much, me out. He did. I used to be full of hell. <laughs> he did. He was, I was something but else. But I didn't give up. I mean, he said, sure did. I said, God will <laughs> deal with it. Yeah. I was like, I plant the word, God up, give man, the increase, and he watered yeah. it, and God blossomed it. Yeah. So we give think, God the glory yeah, yeah, for this. For sure, it ain't about for sure. me. <laughs> yeah. We give it to him. Yeah, for sure. For so sure. this thing, I told God, if I teach yeah. somebody, it's going to be you. It ain't going to be me. Yeah. It's about God with me right now. Man, I keep putting you know, the work in for me, man. I, I was hard. TV, <laughs> and, you know, I, I'm happy y'all doing it on TV. I ain't jealous. Man, he was like, I'm not a hater. Yeah. I'm a peacemaker, not a peace breaker. He's like, you animate too much. Stop animating so much. And I said, man, I, had to, I said, hold up, hold up. Stop animating so much. Yeah. Calm down, relax. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. just go through your moves like a frog. Yeah. In a car. Tell him, man, I was an animator. Man, that boy was so hard here, you couldn't tell him nothing. Yeah, I was. You, I ever, was, you ever seen the dipstick in, in, in the oil pan, and you trying to get out, but it's thick, and it's lighting it up, yeah. but it ain't really clean? Yeah. That's where his head was. Hard, he couldn't tell him nothing. Yeah. I say, but when you get, get tired, it'll be sick and tired. Doing your anime, get sick and tired, but you stop. He animated so much. Hurry, I'm tired, okay? Can I help you now? Yeah. Yeah, man, I give up. The key, that's what he did. The key that I, it was the Tron. It was the Tron. That was the See, people don't know about that, man. The no, old Tron no, movie. No, no, no. Cosby's, uh, that's what it's from. The old new Tron movie just came out a couple of years ago. Yeah. That's where it's from. People don't know that. That's where it came from. <laughs> they don't know. That's man. like so. Your style was kind of developed on efficiency, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 With that, with the light stops. Yes. Yeah. So many people in LA, like it was always about this hard hit. Right? It ain't about the hardness of the hit. It's the quality of the hit. Clean. Bring yeah. it where they can see what you're doing. If you rush, they can't see yeah. you moving like this, yeah. and your feet must be going this way. You gonna cross yourself? In the floor. I'm not a leg man. That ain't me. I use cover moves, Ray, but not what y'all see. He's right because I say if you gonna hit hard, it has to be clear and effective. Yeah. Now, when Deuce would hit, you would see everything and he had structure. He was very, very. If you gonna hit hard, it has to be very pr pronounced and very clear. You see. So, but for me, that style of hitting, I don't do Deuce's style. I don't do Dre's style. 
he taught me how to like perfect that hit and then do it my own way. Oh, his own so way. if I go boom, 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 boom. See, that's easier for me because I don't exert that much energy. Because right. whenever you hit, you're exerting energy, homie. You get tired. You lose you lose because it's force. You're exerting our force. He used to 3D so much. Yeah. From from Vegas to, yeah. to Hollywood when he was doing street shows. Yeah, I man. said, dude, you yeah. gonna wear yourself. We're out. Because he was like, you gotta pace yourself, homie. Pace yourself. You can't, you ain't got you the just can't sit there. I was doing all that. Look at, look at my old videos. I'm sitting there like, da, 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 da. you know what I mean? Oh, Come on, man. man. I was then sitting he ain't there. Got and, nothing to put no mechanics I would sit to there it. and animate like a like. Like somebody losing their mind. Yeah, man. I was. This is what I would do. I would sit there and be you like, feel like somebody crazy. That's what he do. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. And so I'll sit there and just be. Now we backed up from the drawing board <laughs> yeah, for yeah. the last four, what, four years? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Five years. And he done. Yeah. Tron. Tron. Tron got him there. Yes, Tron. Like I said, it's by the will of God, man. It ain't yeah. about me. Yeah. Because it's Jesus by God Christ. through me sure. that helped him. Yeah. It ain't about me. It's about him. You know, and like I say, you know, like, Dre has spoke to me about certain things, but. I was like, that's not me because, okay, I remember we was at Goldmine's house, I mean, at Dre's house, and we was going through everything out with Dre. So Dre was teaching me, he was showing me his style. Right. And I was like, because he does a lot of chore choreography. Okay. Yes, he does. He yes. does a lot of things. He's to good the, at it. To the, to the, he, does. he does a lot of things yes, with, does. The, with the beat. Yes, he does. So I told him, I said, we don't go off the beat. We go on and off the beat. Off, oh, off the beat. Yeah. The music can go. Right, right. Yeah. But let the music keep going. We don't go off. We don't then worry about music. Then when we go, it'll yeah. make you come on the beat. We don't worry about that's music. That's an off beat. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, an off beat. And I told him, I said, that's cool for you. I don't you, worry about the beat. But that doesn't work for me because... the beat going to catch me up yeah, anyway. Yeah. It's going to catch up with the beat. So I don't go... I don't, go, I don't worry he, about the beat. I just let the beat go. Then I just do what I do. Yeah, yeah. I don't do all that. Dre would be like, if you hear a song, a beat, He'll be like, ding, 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 you know, and I'm like, okay, that's you, Dre, but that's not me. That's your style of how you get down. So don't force that upon me because I want to be unique. I just tell people that stop being jealous of people's gifts. Because you can wave that amount of wave. Yeah. You can tap. Okay, good. I play with it, you know. You know I, play, uh, I play with it, but I'm not a tatter. Yeah. I tried to Bugs Bunny. I know uh, uh, Mike, uh, uh, Angelo. I know Fishbone and all them. Met them in the 80s. I know Peanut. He lives in, over in uh, 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 Long down in Long Beach. Down. Yeah, that's the people from so much so tough. Yeah. See, so so that's my boy. They all good when I was when I was going. Everybody was going in Hollywood. Man, we would go from the beach to Hollywood, from the beach to Hollywood every weekend. We even go out to uh, where uh, 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 Dr. Wave and them at uh, uh, Stokes and them. Them all my friends, Stretch, Board Man, especially Ace Rock. He lives in Arizona now. Ace Rock taught him how to. Uh, he taught him and, and Mr. Animation taught me how to boogaloo. Yeah. And I could do all that and do all that, but <laughs> yeah. I was losing it because I'm starting to do what they did. Yeah. First five years, I started losing my style. I said, I got to get back to the drawing board of me. I stopped boog stop boogaloo. And I just stayed with a mechanical style when I got it. I've been, been going well, where, wherever it goes. I've heard this name before, LeBeau, right? Uh -huh. LeBeau, yeah. He, you said he moved to Malone? Yeah, he did. Right? Stay LeBeau Hunter. Did, I want to say it just sounds familiar here. He was a locker. He was in my group. We was at a group together. I just want to say, like, the Groovatrons might have been him. My, my have. Have. I have. There's a dude up there called Dr. Doom and then Shamrock, too. Yeah, I heard Dr. about them, too. Yeah, I heard about Dr. Dr. Doom, Doom and, and, Shamrock. and Shamrock. Then he had a guy up there called... Um, uh, rubber band man. Deuce I remember said, him too. Deuce battled Stokes, shrimp, yeah. and Deuce battled Stokes yeah. up yeah. in Pomona. Right. So Deuce said he had shrimp as the dog. No, I think it was one of the way around. Right. And Deuce said that he peed on. I he think, did. That's Deuce move. Yeah, he I know what he do. Like, he yeah. peed on him. Yeah, that's, that's how they, they all know Deuce because Deuce was so. You know, he was everywhere, just yeah. You know? I put like every yeah. pop, OG pop locker back in the '70s was awesome yeah. in their own way. Yeah. I never came against them, never tried to disrespect them, never talked about them behind their back or to their face. I just yeah. say, you know, I just come to do what I do. That's it. Just be me. It's just that you know when I first brought back, uh, you know, he the one got me back in I the got, game 20 I, years I ago. I pretty much brought back through the through the grace of Jesus Christ. Daughter and Savior, we I literally like brought out 
the you know the archives you and Deuce and I mean and people didn't, didn't didn't know about you guys you know so by I brought them out to the forefront you know because so my, like, boy, my yeah. boy Bandit we talked not too long ago yeah. about me yeah. he said you had faded out for a while I yeah. said yeah I did but I'm back he said your name ringing all the way I stay at <laughs> And I'm I mean, just a friend. That's my buddy. Bandit, love you, man. Uh, you that's love, my boy. I that's love my boy. Dre, homie. I love you, everybody. I love everybody. Man. I just keep they it real. They don't like him. I'm still going to love him. I, 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 I just keep it real. Love, real love is real will fake conquer all. Yeah, yeah. I just be like, hey, homie, this is the facts. I mean, you yeah. know, like, this is what it is. And, you know. Look like everybody's saying goodbye going home, huh? Oh, no, no. Oh, it's still early, though. Yeah, no, nah, it's still early. People ain't even showing up. Yeah, it's yet. like 11. Ooh, I can't be too long. Nah. Yeah. Like I say, it's, but it's, you know, go ahead. What I'm saying is, to all the dancers, we got to come together. We got to stop trying to battle who's hard, who's this, who's better, who moves are better. All y'all good at what y'all do. But remember, without God, you couldn't even do it. Without God, y'all couldn't even make an arm move. I love everybody in the world. But without God, you couldn't even step on the court to do what you do. So y'all got to recognize who gave y'all the gift. I didn't give y'all the gift. Your own style didn't give you the gift. God gave y'all the dancing gift. So enjoy it while you're here on earth, because after it's over, ain't going to be no more pop life. Going to be singing in the heavenly choir. And make sure you got a good place to go. That's what I say, man. It's, 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 it's so much history and so much beauty. You just got to get rid of the It's a politics. lot of history. A lot you know, of the politics. All the jealousy, and malady, yeah. envy, it's got to stop, it's man. Ridiculous, man. Really ridiculous. It's really like, ridiculous. Wow. Do you have any uh, advice for people that are yeah. starting out right now? Well, the new guys, for the new guys that starting out with these leg moves, yeah, we was doing all that in the 80s. I never did that. I.K. Barry was doing that. That boy can triple the... Do touch all in the back and all in front of the Bay Area. That's Robert it. Bell. Man, Robert Bell had them putting on the hits. All that. He's yeah. the only one that I knew could do that. He was triple joint. Yeah. That's why he put his head back and flip. Robert Bell. So, for the new guys, hang in there. I don't care if the people talk about you. Keep doing it. Be positive. Don't be negative. Don't worry about what people say, how they say it. Keep going. And you'll make it. Positive talk. You'll make it. All things is possible hey, tell through him. Can you tell them about that term, pop locking? Like, when did that term, like, when did you first that, that term? I heard that part, part of pop locking in the 80s. Like, it's still like, like, around, around what year? 80, just 1980. Yeah. When I heard it. Pop, pop locking. Pop locking. And uh, it's a difference between pop locking and bopping, like I said. Us is with the chest coming out back. Pop locking is just, you know, doing what you want to do with a compass style, boogaloo style. That's pop locking. Y'all, you know, they... That's what they do. When they saw the movie breaking, everybody went crazy. They wanted, everybody wanted to be taco. Everybody wanted to be shrimp. Be yourself. Everybody tried. Even I tried. Oh, that, that's crazy. It's crazy how the, the bopping style they didn't make it into that movie because it would have been. If we did. Oh my goodness. Man, they man, I'm telling everybody that's in the bopping style would have made breaking. People would have flicked out from Triplet, myself, Robot Rob, Dre, uh, Deuce, uh, Milkman Cherry, oh uh, man, woo, Yama, woo. Man, if we could have made break it, Freak Daddy Mike, man. Yeah, uh, uh, baby, 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 uh, 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 baby G. Baby G, uh, 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 T Tiger, man, they would have flicked out. So this guy, Milkman, Milkman, Milkman Jerry, his name Jerry Cook. Milkman Jerry, I met Jerry back in, in 20th Street School when, when I had my group. He was dancing, man, at that time, locking and robot. But when he got into the pop scene, about the same time we did, that boy, man, had waves, tucks, ticks. He could bop, man. He, he showed me an old man move, and I took it, I flipped it. And he would do the one eye with it. And when he do that, man, yeah. I like. It. He yeah. said, "You can have him take it and flip." It. I just took it and flipped it in my mood, and that was it. Jerry Cooper still around. He still live out there in Venice. Yeah, Jerry is, is still my boy. Jerry Cooper, my boy. Is Boo still around? Yeah, Boo yeah. is still around, but I haven't seen him. I spoke to him like last. I haven't talked to him in years. Yeah. I haven't he's seen just him. Right now. Yeah, but he, he's that's the boy. That's the boy. That's the, boy. That's the man. Like he's the man. He's the man for the Bay Area. I don't have nothing against the Bay Area. Never. 
never came against them, never talked about them. I just tell it like this. The Bay in L.A. got to stop because it was two people at the time. When Boo left from the Bay Area, y'all got mad because he showed that style to Rob. Rob took it and flipped it. That's the only thing. And they've been mad ever since then. This is before the Electric Boogaloo. Before the Electric Boogaloo came around. Yeah. Way before the Electric Boogaloo came around. They, they didn't come out until the end of 78, the beginning of 79. Then they start going to Soul Train. Yeah. I met Papa P. Nice guy. Nice guy. Cool guy. He heard about me, but he never heard about me. You know what I'm saying? He heard of me, but he never knew me. So I was out. We was already doing this before they came on the scene. We was all doing this on, they was all doing that on Soul Train. Bobby Sapp, boom, boom, boom. Boom, everybody was doing that at the time. So, you gotta understand, Bobby Sapp been out since 77, 76. Man, come on. It's the difference between, the thing I learned from Pirtle is that there's a difference between the robot and Tron. See, most of the guys now that's roboting, they're doing a 70s style robot. Tron is an updated robot. That's what I learned. That's when the movie Tron came out in the 80s. Yeah. The old, if you look at the old movie Tron, look at it. That's an old movie. You see the car, see how fast they go? That's where, that's what, what we do. It's the same thing. But it's, it's not that people can't get it. They don't know the true history of movies. You got to know your own movie, what kind of style you're doing in your movie. Is it connected top dots and T's or or you just put it just to be put it so you, you can say, ooh, it looked good. But was it affected by looking good? You gotta have the intention with it. That's all I'm saying. You gotta do the research. I'm not the I'm not the best uh person in the world. Or say the best how to explain it. We don't do the robot, we do Tron. We are just Tron boppers, man. We're Tron, we don't, man. We're we Troners. We, we, we're we Troners. Don't, we, don't we don't do the robot. We don't do, we don't do what all we that. did in, 70, in 1973. We do the Tron. We, we're Troners. We're Troners, bro. You know, we don't so do the robot. I just let it flow. Yeah. Just like a martial art. If he don't practice, if he don't know how to do a hook and heel, and put a spinning hook in here, he ain't going to be effective. I, honestly, I told him. I said, I wouldn't mind teaching this, but we're underneath rules, bro. I just can't teach anybody. And he was my last student, my first and my last. I'm not teaching nobody. No more. That Tron is the, the 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 granddaddy of that Tron is Robot Prince. We're Troners. We don't robot is old school. We do Tron. They doing more of that robot over in, over in, in Korea now. Yeah, that's that, that's yeah, it's everywhere. That's Boogaloo old, and over that's, that's in, over in Seoul, Korea. That's old Lock stuff. This like, stuff what we did it's all over there now. Look like old school is over there, yeah. and we just can on the history of the old school. So that's good. They picked it up. Yeah, they picked up the that's old school good. stuff, but, not, uh, yeah, but when it comes to this new stuff, yeah, this, into this, the old, yeah, it's hard. This is back in the 77, 78, 78, 75. When they formatted, they changed the style, style of the movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's what I learned. When I first got with Hurdle, I was like, I was gotta say, I didn't have that that structure, so he just was like, okay, but it took a long time to work. Took him all three years to really get cross. And I'm still, just, and I'm still trying just to just to get the dirt off yeah. the moves, just to polish your old yeah. moves into something yeah. new, yeah. where you can make it effective. Yeah, yeah. See, people can have moves, but are they effective behind the move? It's the same way with a back knuckle. You gotta step and get into just it. Just give him a the, You know what I'm saying? Hurdle, man, just give him a demo, man. Just give him a demo. Just show him a little bit, man. Give him some give him some medium. Don't play around with him. Give him give him see, some, give him some medium. See. Give him some medium shit, man. See, part, of, I, part of my language. So, you know, we, we can be here with the Panama thing, and that's what people love to do. Do this, do this, do that. You but, gotta you gotta explain. Just 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 you, just you, show you him. You know, okay. So you gotta explain, just show him. That's, so, that's why we have to be in a place, a position to be creative. A magician never show his best move. He's illusionist. Yeah. And I learned that. Never show your best move. You say something all the time. So when the best come out, if it's if, if you if you get out and you see the contest worth five thousand, oh man, you gonna do what you got to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you want to be an illusionist to bring what you need to. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You want to do what you got to do. So I learned this style through the man himself, through God himself, through Robot Prince. 
and that's what I got. And I won't take it back. Wow. I give him all, all God, all glory to God. Yes, yes. Man, that's an incredible story, man. Thank you for sharing that history, yeah, no too. No problem. Man. Yeah. No problem. He, hey. He's playing around. He ain't, he ain't showing up. He, he never showed up on camera. <laughs> Hey. Not what I want to do. You know, uh, no, I know that. I don't do that. Doing, I know you got archives, nah, man. I, I know you got archives. Like, that ain't nothing. That's what he, what he just did. That that's was like, just made up something. That's nothing, man. That's just some made up something. Hey, man. That was nothing, bro. <laughs> Believe me. That's nothing. He just seen just about it. Man, come on, man. That was like, we was at.